Welcome back to Ubad's lab and today we're going to be making copper 2 chloride. Copper 2 chloride has the chemical formula CuCl2 and it's made by reacting hydrogen peroxide, hydrochloric acid and copper metal to form the copper chloride. Uh, copper chloride dehydrate has a beautiful bluish green to it, but the uh, anhydrous has a dark brown blackish color to it, which we'll also be seeing in this video. And the main reason that I want to make copper chloride is because, uh, first of all, it looks really cool, and second of all, I can start making tetrachlorocuprate complexes with it. So I'm pretty excited for that. Alright, so the equipment for this experiment includes the three reactants. So first we're going to need copper. Uh, I'm going to be using copper wire, which is a pretty pure source of copper metal. And then we need hydrochloric acid. This is also known as muriatic acid. And I actually have my hands on 0.36% muriatic acid. So I'm going to be concentrating this to 20% in this video to uh, make it usable for today. And then hydrogen peroxide, I actually have my hands on 30% hydrogen peroxide, which is going to work the best. Alright, so I've got my beaker out, and I also got these new gloves, which are acid proof, which will uh, help me when I'm working with the muriatic acid. And uh, by the way, I won't be concentrating my uh, acid anymore, because I went to the store and uh, picked up some muriatic acid, so we're good for that. And I'm going to start by adding um, 100 milliliters of muriatic acid to my uh, graduated cylinder. All right. And add it to the beaker now. It's a little more than 100 milliliters. We don't have to be too precise with it. All right, and now I'm gonna add 100 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide to my uh, graduated cylinder now. It's pretty windy today. All right. Let me close this. So equal ratios of uh, the acid to the hydrogen peroxide. You don't technically need the hydrogen peroxide, but it's gonna directly oxidize the copper ions and make this go way faster. do it way more slow this solution doesn't heat up like sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide that's a, a pretty vicious reaction all right Our solution is uh, done now. I'm gonna mix this around and get ready to add the copper now. All right. So I measured out around uh, 30 grams of copper, and I'm gonna uh, add it slowly. Usually I just dump it all in and that causes way too much foaming and then the beaker, uh, the solution overspills and I lose a decent amount. So uh, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen this time. I cut it up into way smaller bits. Alright, the first bit of copper. Oh my god, look at that. 
Wow, that's a beautiful green. The copper chloride has started to form immediately. A very nice green, characteristic of copper chloride. Wow, good thing we're doing this slow. Decent amount of foaming by just adding the first bit. Hopefully there's no overspill. No, 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 no! There is, I'm moving it to the side. I'll give you guys a look. <laughs> oh my god, I added such a little amount, but there's still such a big overspill. <laughs> No! How is it still? Aw, oh, there's gonna be like no liquid left in this. And it's going back down. Darn it! Alright, we lost a decent amount. Alright. Let me move it back. So this is what we've got left. <laughs> there were 200 milliliters of the <coughs> there were 200 milliliters of the muriatic acid and hydrogen peroxide, and now there's only about 50. This sucks. Uh, I do have. Let's see how much extra I have. Okay, you know, since I'm already here, I might as well. Uh, I want to get a decent yield of copper chloride because I have a lot of stuff planned for it. So I'm just gonna um add some more. All right, so it's time to get the solid copper chloride. So I'm gonna uh, get out any of the copper metal that uh, didn't dissolve in the solution. All right. And just like one more piece. And that's it. Alright. So let me get let me show you guys what the copper metal looks like. This is the copper metal that was dissolved in the solution compared to copper metal that I didn't put into it. There's a bit of a color change. And uh, a decent amount of the copper metal completely just disappeared in the solution. Alright, so uh, let's start uh, boiling this off. Alright, so I'm going to keep on uh, heating this up until uh, all of the excess liquid has been boiled off. Alright, the solution has finally reached a boil. And I'm going to keep letting it boil until all of the excess water and unreacted hydrochloric acid is gone and then we should be left with a nice solid uh, copper chloride. Alright, I boiled all the liquid off until I got a precipitate and now I'm going to run it through some uh, filter paper. Why is it such a dark color? It's kind of weird. It's almost like black. Hmm, some, something must have happened, uh, went wrong because uh, you can see at the bottom we have a sort of a brown solid and uh, in the th going through the filter paper we have like a black liquid it's kind of weird I don't know oh god the hydrogen chloride gas smells really bad
um, pretty confused at why it looks like this. It's like a brown, not that much of a green. We did get a green solution in the beginning though, so I don't know. Okay, it seems like it's pretty much all uh, done solidifying, but the, the liquid that went through the bottom also solidified, so I'm like very confused, and it's sort of black, so it's like you can see a, a tint of green in it, so I'm not sure if it's copper chloride or if it's something else. Like, look at this, it's, it's completely black. The stuff at the bottom is black. But the stuff at the top is a bit more green. I don't know. Let's just uh, throw it on some, onto some uh, filter paper and let it dry out. Oh. It's so windy. Jeez. It's moving. The wind is moving my beaker, my glass beaker. Okay. The filter paper just broke. Wow, what is this? And then I don't even think I can get anything off of this. I'm gonna try to get some stuff from the beaker, I guess. That's really weird. Okay, so I'm seeing some green powder at the bottom of the beaker. It should be copper chloride, but why do we have so little of it? I'm, I'm very confused. I'm not sure if I should bottle this or just get rid of it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably let it dry and uh, see what the best course of action from there on will be. Alright. Alright, I let the black uh, precipitate uh, air dry for around a day and I got this nice green powder and now I know that this was actually copper chloride. I was scared that some type of oxide could have formed. Uh, and I consulted my discord about it and they said that the uh, black was actually the anhydrized form and uh, now letting it air dry converted it to the hydrate form so uh, my discord came in clutch there and it's very very beautiful I'm gonna uh, bottle this keep it for storage and probably work on some uh, tetrachlorocuprate complexes in the future don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching, uh, then I'll know to do more stuff like it. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.